recently was part of a little songwriters in a round thing that we uh, we do every now and again in Melbourne, and uh, it was my first time invited to be part of it, so I was quite nervous. And the theme was um, I went to write a song about food and drink, <laughs> and I I found that topic quite challenging actually. Like, um, so it took me about a month of thinking about it before, and I was actually going to ring him and say, "Look, I can't do it. I've got to cancel. You know, I can't." I can't write a song about food and drink. Uh, it's just too weird. It's just too, like, sort of one of those things that I, I found. Mm -hmm. Anyway, eventually I wrote one and I went along and I performed it. And I learned later that all the artists, none of them wrote a new song. They just tweaked their old ones into, you know, dropping a line here and there in about, you know, some piece of fruit or a glass of wine or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't matter anyway. But I wrote this song, but I have to tell a story because otherwise it's just some random little ditty. So. You know, this is my song about food and drink. <laughs> She's an early riser, always a few steps ahead. But she's no criticizer. Of me staying in bed. The tart toast is buttered, the OJ squeezed. The coffee's poured before I wake from my dreams. Yes, yeah, she's a new. Washing dryer, <laughs> working day. 